All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we're back at the Fountain Blue, the newest hotel, resort, and casino on the Las Vegas Strip. And today we got a treat for you guys. We're gonna try their brand new dim sum restaurant. I mean, a brand new resort. All these restaurants are new. <laughs> I wanna say brand new, but uh, yeah, this is their dim sum Chinese restaurant. So we're gonna go inside, give you guys the first impressions of this spot. I heard a lot of great things. So let's go check it out. Let's go, washing potato. Oh, so this is the forgotten moments right here. Oh, that's delicious. I knew it was gonna be a little bit creamy. It's like um, Asian-ish kind of like strawberry milkshakes creamy, but it's dangerous. I don't even barely taste alcohol. It's delicious. Mm. Oh, fuego. All right, guys, just entered Washing Potato. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions about the environment, the whole dining scene. It does not look like a typical dim sum or Chinese restaurant here. I feel like I'm in some sort of concert or like lounge. It kind of reminds me of STK with the music, but it's not blaring or like it's not super loud. It's a pretty great vibe. Some red hints all around. And uh, in the back, you can see them making our dim sum and food fresh right here. Got some dim sum making. I always like to see when they're making the food, but a pretty nice environment. I would say it's kind of minimalistic, but also very vibey. All right, DVW fam, I want to take a quick break from this video to remind you guys to please smash that red subscribe button down below and that like button. It really helps the channel grow and me a lot. It takes less than two seconds. Thank you guys and back to the video. This is our seat. Let's sit down and see uh, about their food. Ooh, and I love the music choices too. I can't show you guys all the music. I don't want to get copyrighted, but they're playing some bangers here, guys. I love seeing the, the dim sum making process fresh right here. It's an art. Yeah. Perfection, guys. There's if the devil's in the details, everything counts. One for one. So we're in the kitchen. Watch the potato right here. We got the dim sum cartridges right here, steaming, fresh to order. I love seeing the process. It's like art, guys. It is. Right now. Oh, look at all that steam, guys. Sheesh. Venison puff. Pu puff. Uh, puff. puff. Venison puff. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah. So here comes the orders, and then you can actually see them. Process. Baby curd cuttlefish. So, dim some items, they put it in these cartridges and then they put it in there to steam, right? Oh, nice. Wow, one of my favorites right here. Steam char siu bao. I'll put it here. Awesome. Thank you. This bear might look innocent, but he's alcohol infused, so it might be dangerous. It's a dangerous a alcohol. He'll, he'll mess you up right here. Yeah. Add the tradition of ours. So you have the chili oil right up here, infused with the sense, uh, dry shrimp, so it has a little bit of seafood taste. And then this chili paste, it has a hint of sweetness. And the last but not least, a low sodium soy sauce. So we definitely suggest accompanying these with the steamed dim sum to enhance the flavor, okay? All right, DVW fam, so we have our spread here at Washing Potato, the premier dim sum restaurant in Fontaine Blue. Look at our spread right here. You guys know I love dim sum. And I mean, it's the newest hotel, so it gotta be the newest hotel dim sum in 2024 on the Las Vegas Strip, Washing Potato. Let's see if they have traditional taste because um, the environment in here. I dig the vibe. I actually give it a 10 out of 10 for the environment. It's something new because dim sum is usually, you know, traditional. Chinese fare and it's you know most dim sum places kind of look the same like a Chinese restaurant with that little like Happy Susans or whatever they call them like the the big tables, but we're kind of in like a Vegas type vibe traditional dim sum. So let's try it out Washing potato right here 
see that. The vibes are great so far. Let's see how the food is. And they gave us uh, the sauces, chili oil, chili paste, and soy sauce to eat with the uh, dim sum. So you guys already know how I do it. I gotta start off with the shumai with the goji berry on top. Put some soy sauce. I always love my uh, shumai with soy sauce. So let's try it out. Mm. Ooh. God, hey. Moist, spongy. It's a glutinous outer shell. This one is equal parts meat bolly and shrimpy. But um, that goji berry really adds like that refreshing pop. But guys, don't be deceived. Like inside here, it looks like, um, you know, kind of like a fancy Las Vegas casino restaurant. But the prices are pretty fair for the dim sum. I'll post them down below. Uh, I think it's very fair for, you know, dim sum on the Las Vegas strip. So let's try the hard gal. You can see them making the dim sum in the back. They put great care into it. 12 fold right here. And I'm seeing them there. Traditional Chinese folk and they're putting hard work into each one of these. So let's try this with a little bit of chili oil. Uh, soy sauce. All right. Mm. Mm. The highlight is definitely the fold though. Fresh. N no like, you know, fishy shrimp taste from it. Pretty good. Both of these, you know, they're standard dim sum dishes. All right, DVW fam. So had some technical difficulties with the sound. So we're going to try another one. But guys, look. I would consider this a fusion item. This is the crispy prawn um, chung fun right here. We call it ban uk in Vietnamese. That means like wet noodle. And there's a different type of soy sauce they gave us here. So it's like a sweet soya usually, but let's try this one out. And um, usually the traditional kinds are like kind of flat and all over the place. This one looks very symmetrical and different. Mm. Oh man. That's fire. Definitely like fusion. Like they put their twist on this. I love it. 20 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. There's like, there's the fresh shrimp inside, but it's, or a prawn, but it's big and it's, there's like a nice crispy breading on the inside. So it's triple layered. There's that soft consistency of the chung fun rice roll and then the crispiness and then the, the shrimp or the prawn on the inside. It's, it's a nice bite, it's fuego. You know, dim sum in general is just a delightful bites, you know, coming out fresh. Pretty good so far. Crispy Yuba skin, prawn chung fun right there. Never had anything like it. Yuba is like tofu skin and they made it crispy here. Speaking of crispy, let's try this uh, taro croquette right here. Feels crispy enough. Let's uh, take a bite, shall we? Taro cro croquette. Mmm. Mmm. So savory. I'm confused because I thought taro would be um, like sweet, like a taro paste, but there's like meat, meat inside. Mm. The croquette, nice and crispy, airy. Texture is deep for that. I don't know what meat is in there. I'm pretty sure it's like pork. I give it 8.8 .8 out of 10. Most of that score is from the crispy outer shell. You know, when I'm naturally dancing, that means like the food is good. And also they're, you know, playing music. So you got to turn up in here at Washington Potato. Curry baby cuttlefish right here. Let's try this out. I don't think I've had this in a um, dim sum restaurant. So curry baby cuttlefish right here. Let's try it out. All right. Mm. Mm. I love squid. Fresh, no really fishy taste. You got like a lot of that turmeric curry taste. Maybe there's some ginger in there. But really good, I love the texture. Very interesting um, dim sum item. Um, but I've only had this here at Wash Potato, but I really like um, squid consistency and uh, this is cuttlefish. And, uh, I think it's like squid too, but uh, yeah, I really like it. Give it like a 9.5 out of 10. It's very interesting. I'll put some soy sauce on here though. Mm. I've been like bobbing my head throughout this whole dinner because great music choices. But before we move on, um, I wanna say, like I said, the vibes in here are great. Like, you wanna take a date here, you definitely impress them and I'm mostly impressed by the prices for you know the vibes. Speaking of vibes, we got a vibe right here in our hand. That's what I call drinks. I call it drinks vibes. Because it'll give you vibes, you know. This is an authentic experience. I don't know if you the mic is catching this, but they're super speaking Mandarin in the back while making the, the dim sum. So you know your dim sum's in the right hands. No pun intended, but after saying it, all pun intended. So this is the um, crispy aromatic duck half. And it's served with uh, house-made pancakes, baby cucumber, scallion, duck sauce. So it's duck, so it's like kind of how like a Peking duck is served, like in this style, right? Peking duck, but it's their their version on it. It's not exactly Peking duck, but it's like a crispy duck.
So we got our tortillas in here. Oh, I call these tortillas. They're they're Chinese pancakes. So let's get one right here. All right, I'm nice and generous with the pancakes. Got to get the carbs in. I call these tortillas because I, I eat so much Mexican food, guys. I'm basically half Mexican because of all the Mexican food I eat all the time. So let's make this into a Chinese taco, I guess. <laughs> All right, so they shredded this up, this up table side for us and it's super crispy. See some fat inside. So they give us duck sauce. You can do it however you want, but I'm gonna dip the duck sauce right here. All right. Salud. Mm. I was definitely generous with that duck sauce, so I gotta take another bite. Oh, that pancake. I love Chinese pancake. Nice and spongy. It's like a tortilla, but like with like a lot of rice consistency. More spongy, glutinous. Got one bite this one right here. Oh man, eating it all together with that pancake is fuego. Nice, spongy, soft consistency. Much more spongy than like regular tortilla. And um, I'm, I'm gonna, um, because I kind of you know, overloaded it and maybe I didn't make the right ratios. I'm just gonna take a piece of the crispy duck by itself. Mm. That and the crispiness. Fuego kind of reminds me of like um Vietnamese dish. There's like this gavrote, which is like roasted hen. But this is duck, so it's much more fatty and, you know, tender. But all together with the pancake and everything, you gotta give this a solid 9.2 out of 10 DBW score. Maybe the duck could be more moist, but that might be my fault for leaving it out here for so long. But the skin on this duck, 10 out of 10 for the skin and the fat and the crispiness of the duck. But also fair price, $36. You know, picking duck can range like anywhere up to over $100. And um, this is a nice alternative with, you know, the pancakes and the, the cucumbers. I'm gonna make another one right here. And uh, for this one, I'm not gonna do the too much in white sauce. I'm gonna do cucumbers, scallion. Cucumbers gives it the refreshing pop from all that meat. And I'm just gonna dip it. I changed my mind. 9.6 out of 10 DW score. Just the price and like everything all together. It was really good. It's like a crispy peaking duck. Like deep fried. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, that pancake is good. The duck is good. How'd you rate it? Oh, nine? Yeah. No. I don't know why Ale is a real harsh critic, so when you hear a nine, that means it must be real good. But um, I know the mistake I did at first. The skin and like that duck already has so much flavor that I didn't need all that poison sauce on it. Well, that's a plus, but uh, yeah, guys, that duck is, skin is fuego. All right, so if you guys know me, you guys would know this one of my favorite dishes, the, in Vietnamese called mặn bao. Chinese called char siu bao or shou bao. That's what it's called. But look, let's get the inside with barbecue pork on the inside. Try it out. Mmm. Blanketing some sweet pork. Mm -hmm. This is my type of bao. Really doughy, fluffy. It's like a cloud. Some people like, you know, the filling better. I like the bao better. So if the bao is great, it's good enough for me. This um, barbecue pork is more like pasty and then like meaty. It's like uh, a lot of like the sauce, but I have to give this 10 out of 10 for price and just how fluffy it is. Can't hate. We got Ale behind the camera, uh, a local Hawaiian resident here, and he calls these the manapoas. So like, if you guys are Hawaiian, these are manapoas. So Vietnamese are banbao, Chinese shopao, and then they call them manapoas in Hawaii. All right, so finishing rounds, only got two more left. We're all, dude, um, I'm like very happy right now with the, the food quality, very great. I don't know why, I think it's surprising just because you know, you walk in here, it doesn't feel like it's in some restaurant, but the food does not disappoint. This is my new move right here. You gotta do this and go down and then bring it up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the, the chew chow dumpling right here. Um, it kind of looks like a shrimp and chai roll, but um, Ying was telling me that something else. I'm, I usually do a soy sauce, but let me take a bite first without. Mm. Damn! First thing that catches you off guard right away is the shell. It's not like any of the other ones. I actually saw them making it in the back of us when I first walked in. 
This is the one. It kind of reminds me of like a Vietnamese dish, a bánh bột lộc. If you guys are Vietnamese and you know bánh bột lộc, it's like a sesame, like rice skin. It has kind of like a sesame flavor and uh, it's like nutty. Let me take another bite. It's all about texture. It's like a spring taste, refreshing, crunchy. Guys, fire, I gotta put some soy sauce on this one. Got one bite this one. It's also a new item that I haven't tried with dim sum, so really good. I would say it's like it's like a twist to like a garlic chai roll. Let's try it out. Mm hmm Glutinous rice out of shell. It has ying the ingredients in there. It's jicama yam and there's peanuts in there and it's just so much texture. 10 out of 10. Fuego, fresh. Oh man. Alright, so moving on to our last dish. So you gotta get a traditional, you know, um, Chinese plate item right here. So there's some char siu pork in here, yang chow fried rice. Everyone, everywhere makes their yang chow fried rice a little bit different. So I'm just gonna take a taste of this. I usually like to drench my fried rice in soy sauce, but we'll try it without first. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So you eat the fried rice, like each grain of rice. It's nice and spongy, but the pop of flavors comes from the char siu. It's very sweet and crunchy. And then uh, you get the fresh shrimp. Like I could actually not use soy sauce and it'd pretty, be pretty good because it's on like the sweet side from the char siu pork. But you know me, I love to drench my fried rice in soy sauce. So I'm gonna do just that. Let's do this. Got a little soy sauce action. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. And also I'm biased, Yang Chao fried rice has to be some of my favorite fried rice, you know, the Chinese Yang Chao fried rice. It's basic, uh, you just have shrimp, pork, sometimes like Chinese sausage, but it's all about, you know, the rice and like how eggy it is. It's my favorite, like better than like, you know, I personally like it other than other, you know, Asian fried rice, like Thai fried rice, pineapple fried rice, all that. This is a hit for me. So I have to give this all a 9.2 out of 10 BBW score. Pretty fuego. All right, so we tried out everything. I'm gonna go through my favorites again. Needless to say, like the vibes and everything. Overall DVW score. Actually, I'll go one by one. All right, so the shimai with the goji berry. You know, it's hard to kind of like mess up shimai. Shimai is just usually really good. Nine out of 10. The hard gal, 9.5 out of 10. Really like that. Manapoa. 10 out of 10. Cuttlefish, it's like a, it's a hit or miss if you don't like curry, so I, I liked it, so 8.8 .8 out of 10. This peaking, or this crispy duck with the pancake, all together, 9.2 out of 10, really good. Yang chow fried rice, 9.2 out of 10. These ones are fire right here, you gotta try this if you guys haven't tried this before. Chu chow dumpling, this taro, you know, crispy thing. I, I don't usually like, fried foods all too much like it's still really good though 8.5 out of 10 but this is probably my favorite item here i'll come back for this one this is the chung fun but with a twist very fun see what i did there very chung fun all right so yeah overall dvw score for this spot i give it a solid it was really surprising i give a solid 9.6 out of 10 dvw score because the pricing is right. I mean, it's, it's in like a very high-end Las Vegas resort, so you know the price is supposed to be higher, but it keeps it fair and it's traditional, authentic, dim sum Chinese food. But uh, with the twist with the environment, so yeah, it's my DVW score. Let's kill the rest of this, fuego. All right, bro, uh, I need to see Ale try this. I think this will change your life. I mean, I haven't worked that yet. Where you Oh, the view is dope back here. It looks like a club. Hey! Pour it all. Another nine. Yeah. yeah, like I said, Ale is a harsh critic. And this is uh, Ale's favorite dish, the manapua. Manapua eating in progress. Guys, if you guys have seen our Genting Palace video, this dude took down like nine manapuas in one sitting. He went to a buffet and ate like nine manapuas. Right. Fun story. The last time I had manapua was when we made that video. So I, I, I finally get, oh, finally getting my fix. Nice shirt, bro. That Vegas shirt. Another nine. Man, this guy doesn't give tens though. I have yet to see him give a 10. Maybe with Hawaiian food, maybe that furikake chicken, but we'll see. 
All right, guys, I'm not kidding. Me and Ali finished that whole dim sum meal because it was so delicious. But uh, you know what they say. It doesn't matter how full you are. Always room for dessert. There's matcha ice cream right here. They're soft serve. They're house served ice cream. Banana bourbon and Nutella or hazelnut. Let's try the banana bourbon. That sounds like a crazy flavor. Let's try this out. Man, they're always playing the bangers. Ooh, so got another dessert right here. It's a warm plate. But this banana bourbon ice cream, fire. I got a little sampler right here, but ooh, this one's a hit. Banana bourbon, it's like a banana split all in one. With, it's, there's no alcohol content here, but it's fire. 10 out of 10 for this. Savory taste from the soy sauce and all the dim sum. Yeah, I guess some dim sum. Yeah, I guess some dessert to cleanse the palate. So let's try some of this uh, hazelnut. High quality, nice, creamy matcha. But this banana bourbon, my favorite. 10 out of 10. Matcha's pretty solid too. Uh, I'm not the biggest matcha fan, but 9 out of 10. Way you go, guys. Mm. All right, you're gonna try this mochi sesame ball with crushed peanuts on top. I have an idea to kind of make it like a hot and sweet dessert, like a pizuki, Asian pizuki, and put some of the ice cream on here because it's a warm dessert right here. Ooh, let's try this out. It's nice warm sesame mochi ball right here. It's like a Chinese mochi. It's like really soft and sustained. There's like that sesame taste inside, and um, there's like a twist to this one because it's have like the sesame outer shell. It's like crushed peanuts. Mm. It's all about the texture, and then you get that soft. Mochi ball and the sesame inside. My favorite part of this though is the mochi. I love mochi. It's super spongy, chewy, soft, but I'm not a big peanut fan. So maybe I'll lay off that. But uh, this ice cream, fuego, definitely will get this banana bourbon again. Fire. I don't know if you guys consider this dessert. Um, I do. There's a, there's like chrysanthemum tea with a coconut jelly. Try it out. There's some of that coconut jelly in here. It's fire. I don't know what it is, but there's like this glass straw. It just makes like the drink taste a little bit better. I don't know what the science is behind that, but uh, you guys gotta try. Even the other alcoholic beverages we have. Maybe it just keeps the drink nice and cool. Boy, go. All right, DVW fam, that was a success at Wash Potato at Palm Blue. Like I said, 9.5 DVW score. So yeah, guys, hope you guys like this video. We're gonna tour more Palm Blue the newest resort here in Las Vegas and hopefully try more of their restaurants. So see you guys in the next video. Deuces.